You ready? Yes. Is it recording? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay, I see it now. Because, yeah, I didn't see it before. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. We're, We're the Sunshine Stitchers. I'm EJ. <laughs> I'm Shelia. <laughs> it's because when we talk together, it it either gets no one or it just gets one person. So exactly, exactly. We're the pictures. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're in two different locations this week. Yes, as you I can got a see. Surprise, um, I got an offer that I couldn't refuse. You know. <laughs> so so, so off I can she see. went. Yes, I was like, okay, <laughs> let me take this bag real quick. <laughs> so off she went. I met my sister know at Shirley's house. Um, uh, spending the week there. I got here. Yeah. When did I get here? When um, I got here on the Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I'm leaving on Wednesday, so. Oh, okay, that's a nice visit. It is. Oh, and everyone's here. My two sisters, um, the husbands, the children. It's been a blast. <laughs> it's been a blast. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all good. Oh, wonderful! What's wonderful. Vacation's all about for me, anyway. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> so. Uh, first, we want to say thank you to everybody who is choosing to watch our video today. Uh, we appreciate the fact that you do watch us. Um, yeah, thank you. And, and a lot of you enjoy what you're seeing and laughing along with us. Will we get into our educational modes, learning with us? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, it's fun. We, we have a blast. We enjoy ourselves. And uh, we're glad that it, it comes through on yeah. the video and you all are having as much fun as we are. Mm -hmm. um, so as, as always, we um, like to, our, your comments generate so much conversation for us. I mean, really, if it wasn't for your comments, we wouldn't have much content except for whatever we blah, blah, blah to each other about. <laughs> <laughs> And not the so, blah blah blah. <laughs> yes. <yeah. laughs> what so, we prattle on about. Yeah, whatever. We that's do. right. That's <laughs> right. So last week I remember asking what was ham, because I had heard it like three times in the previous week and I had never heard it before. Mm -hmm. H A M. I had never, that was new to me. So I asked EJ and she told us what she thought it was. And I want to thank several of our viewers yeah. who helped us out. But so, we've always we've always said ham, like going ham on it. We've always said it like growing up. So it was just like it, and using context clues, that's what I figured it was. But yeah, I never other things. Was, but like, okay. <laughs> yeah. And so for those of you who do not know, ham, H A M stands for hard as an mf'er like he's going hard as a <laughs> yeah he's going ham <laughs> ham so like, that's like how you use it someone out some someone person someone out like man he's going ham or someone yeah going, well, one person said that her mother when they were growing up used to say mother fluffer <laughs> <laughs> so it's going hard as a mother fluffer <laughs> uh, any link 8265 mm -hmm. wants to know if we had shopping lists for our trip no you didn't have one I thought you had one well I wanted something for my purple fabric Mm -hmm. I didn't have a shopping list. Okay. I really don't. Because everything that I bought was never on my radar to buy. Yeah, I can. Well, I did have a list. I had a couple of over dyed colors on the list. Uh, but the main thing for me was the 28 count 
dark mm. blue fabric, mm. which I really focused on in um, in the first part of the trip. And once I got it, I was okay. Completely forgot about the over dyed colors on my list. But now that I have so much um, cottage garden thread, I'm planning to substitute cottage garden thread for those two colors. And don't even ask me what project I wanted the colors for, because of course I never wrote sure. that down. Got yeah. It. I just had this list that had two over dyed colors and 28 count dark blue. Listen, did you see it. the video? I mean, did you see the picture of Shelia at the <laughs> at the cottage garden wall? That was yeah. an awe. It's like pick. Oh, that's pretty pick. <laughs> she doesn't even know what project for what method. Nothing. Nothing. I like the color. Oh, that's oh, that's a nice one. She may have it already. It don't matter. Did you that's did right? You, did you find out if you duplicated? I, you know, I actually pulled all of my cottage garden thread that isn't already attached to a project. Uh, I pulled it all because I realized I had stashed in a couple of different places in my stitching salon. Yeah. I pulled it all out this week and put it on one of those great big rings. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, it's a, it's a big ring full. Did you have it? Any... But I did not organize it on the ring. I just oh. wanted to get it out, you know, one place. Yeah. And I figured maybe one day I'll go through and either alphabetize or try to color um, mm. coordinate it on the ring. Mm. Um, but right now it's all just there. At I least wonder it's there. what would be a, gr a better way of organizing it because not a lot of people is that usually called for so no color, color probably or color you do color not alphabet. yeah mm -hmm. most of my other over dyes i have done alphabetically mm -hmm. but my victorian model sampler is color and so my cottage garden threads i'll also do is color eventually yeah, yeah. Um, and the second question, her second question was, did EJ drive fast enough? <laughs> I'll let Shelia answer that question. So, yeah, no, your speed was fine. I was very comfortable with your speed. I am a horrible passenger, and I'm very honest about that. I am the world's worst passenger because I've been in three car accidents as a passenger Two of them, I saw it coming. And my foot was pumping, pumping the brake and there was nothing happening. And I'm just, I'm trying to turn the steering wheel and I had no steering wheel to grip and we hit the car. And, and, and none of the accidents were with me, by the way. No, 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 no. These were <laughs> years ago now. Yeah. Yeah. And, and one of them, you know, um, one person was hurt. I mean, you know, these weren't little fender, fender yeah. accidents one of them was a rollover on a highway where I, this is actually kind of funny because I was asleep in the back of the car I've told the story before many years ago but I was asleep in the back of the car and the this was in, when I was in college and I was getting a ride home for Thanksgiving Christmas or something and we were in a Saab I remember or Volvo it was either a Saab or a Volvo and one of the guys had a German Shepherd. And so it was me and the German Shepherd in the back seat, both uh, as back seat asleep. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, it was like being in a, a dryer or a washing machine because we were both like this. Mm -hmm. Like all I remember is German Shepherd, paw, here, you know. And then all of a sudden, we stopped rolling. And what had happened, is that the car had hit an ice patch, mm. turned, and then rolled. But mm. fortunately, it rolled up an embankment mm. and then back down again. So it landed upright. But yeah, that was pretty freaky yeah. to wake right. up yeah. literally in a dryer with the dog. Yeah. <laughs> so none of us were hurt. Um, but we were all kind of like, Okay, has the world stopped moving? I think so. Is everything where it's supposed to be? 
is the dog okay? You know, the dog <laughs> is like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> so I am, which is why I drive myself a lot of places because I can't, the stress is, it's very hard, very tough for me. So there were a couple of times I just had to say, you know, could you try not to drive so close? Mm-hmm. You know, I need more space mm-hmm. between us and the car in front. I really, like, ugh. <laughs> I tried I to, I tried to, you know, like, I, because I understand it's, yeah, I understand. Yeah. I tried this to, is, like, back away. Yeah. I'm here. It's, it's, I'm here. Yeah. 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 It's a serious fear factor thing for me. The closer, especially when you're going, like, you know, 80 miles an hour, you need, you need distance to slow down. The car behind you needs distance to slow down. I mean, that's how you get those sandwich accidents because what car stops, the car in the middle will have some distance to stop, but the car behind the car in the middle didn't have enough distance, pushes, you know, and that's how people get mm-hmm. um, sandwiched and stuff. So anyhow, yeah, I'm not a good passenger which is why a lot of times when the group of friends from here are going places I elect to drive myself because I just I can't handle the stress okay. of, of being a passenger but you did well I mean you did well I was able to sightsee and count churches and ice cream stores and identify uh waffle shops for you oh in my case god you as soon as to... heard that i did not like like waffle house is not my <laughs> favorite at all she's like there's a waffle house there's a waffle house but she, you but, a waffle house no there's a waffle house, there's a waffle but, it house. Wasn't, but it wasn't like there's a waffle i was like oh there's a waffle house oh a waffle house oh a waffle house you know like I really wanted to go, oh, there's a Waffle House. Oh, there's a Waffle <laughs> You want to go to a Waffle House? Yeah, you did. Finally, you asked me, do you yeah. want to stop at a Waffle House? No. No. <laughs> no, no. I'm okay. No. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so um, appreciation a lot of appreciation for our road trip movie. A lot of folks persevered yeah. all the way through. I know. Thank Didn't you for necess- that. Hmm? Thank you for that. For those who watched all three, through. All three hours. Woo! But you know, many people asked to for to for us to bring you along, and mm-hmm. of course, we didn't. <laughs> we did not anticipate that it was going to be that long. We thought it was going to be about a two-hour video. Yeah, but our our regular floss tube is usually two hours, it seems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But thank um, you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for expressing your appreciation. And um, so many people were very happy. You did an excellent job with your videos in the stores. Oh, thank um, you. A lot of people expressed appreciation for that. Well, then thank and, you. And uh, Sean... I'm sorry. Go ahead. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you did well. Uh, Sean Duray six two nine seven. You remember you bought oh, the Robaris. Sean, hi Sean. Go ahead. And, and you, you, we couldn't figure out what the name of it. Yeah. Um, the name of it, and so Robaris R one one five is Scissor Alphabet. Okay. So you might want to write that down on something so you. Scissor alphabet. That there's scissor literally alphabet. the only two things there. So I remember scissor alphabet. And yeah, Sean, yeah. Sean told <laughs> Robin, is it Robin? To say hi to me yesterday. I'm like, Sean, who? Because we know a um we know several Sean's. Okay. But she's like, Sean, yeah. So hi. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, I forgot. Last night was the first Friday Zoom. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was in my own little world. I <laughs> went to the cross stitch cupboard yesterday, and after, and then I stopped off at Walmart on the way home. And tell you the truth, by the time I got home, I was so wiped out and so exhausted. I completely listen. 
Candy held it down. <clears throat> okay, so because because Candy held it down because what we did was we I started the the thing and then my sister poked her head. It's like you know uh, we're about to eat dinner. I'm like oh okay. So um, oh. I told Candy was hosting and she did a ph phenomenal, a fantastic job. Thank you, Candy. Oh, good, okay, good. When good. I was able to come back, um, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. So she did a <laughs> she did an amazing hostess job. Yes. Oh, excellent, yes. excellent. I am so sorry. I had not a thought, and and I was, yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Do you have any finishes? No. Do you? No. Nope, 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 nope. But I hopefully will have at least one this week. Oh, I have a mini finish, but you're you're not gonna say it's a finish, so I'm not even gonna bother to try. No. <laughs> what about a start? A start? I have two starts. No, I don't. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I mean, I have two stars because I was doing my monthly wrap up. I have two stars for the month, but not this week. No, no stars. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So zero for this week. Yes. Oh my goodness gracious! All right. Do you I have any whips? Yeah, I, I have that. <laughs> Real whips. You actually have whips. I actually have whips. <laughs> All right. Let's see your whips. So, um, you know. I've been traveling, let me tell you that right now. And I had to do one more day of, um, I had to do one more day of my to-do list. So, cause it was a whip go call. Oh, okay. So I put in 28 whopping. <laughs> <laughs> I put 28 um, um. stitches. And I finished the G and I started on the S. So oh my goodness. So I'm gonna count that as a day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Count that as a day. So yeah. This is Lizzie K, my to-do list. Um, I started it for May. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, what is it called? I started it for mental health care style this year. It looks good. I Thank figured you. out how to switch the screen. Oh, you did? How did you do that? You just did I tapped. I tapped. I tapped the little window. Okay. Oh, okay. And that Sw switched it to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here it is. All right. Well, hooray! Twenty-eight stitches makes a big difference. Look, I. This is on Persephone, I believe. The the name of the fabric, mm -hmm. and it's on twenty-eight count. Yeah, 28 count Persephone. I think it's um, chromatic alchemy. Okay. Okay. I will be stitching a little bit more because I do feel like only 28 stitches. So at least I'll finish the S and maybe do a motif or something. Okay. But I have it here so, and I have it till Wednesday. Yeah. So we'll see. Now, I also stitched on One Dozen Quaker. I stitched on it on Friday. Oh, One Dozen Quaker by Rosewood Manor. Maybe I should show the piece. Ooh. Okay. Karen Kubla. And I were and my it met up. Oh, nice! Congratulations! So much. That is really filling in nicely. Wow, that's pretty. Thank you. So this is blue corn by. Well, this fabric is an atomic ranch called Dune. Mm hmm. And the floss is blue corn by um, Plastic Color Works. Oh, nice. So it, I'm working on this section to match this section. And then I'll work on the middle. 
Yeah. Oh, how pretty. I like that very much. Thank you. So this is my June, July piece. So, mm -hmm. oh, and also there's another piece that goes here mm -hmm. that I have to start it. So my goal for July is to finish this mm -hmm. and work on this one, and then I'll be caught up. Okay, good. And last but not least, I worked on Temperature Butterfly. Here we go. Here we go. So, oh, sorry, let me, should I tell you what I, why I stitched on things for? Oh, yes. <laughs> I stitched on, here, June. I stitched on One Dozen Quaker for um, New to You because of the Atomic Ranch fabric that was new to me for mm -hmm. 70K um, Whippagories. Mm -hmm. I stitched on um, the O for Float, One Dozen Quaker. And yeah, and it's also my monthly thing that I try to do every day. For oh, okay. My to-do list, it was a whip go call. And that's why I basically stitched on it, my to-do list. Cause it wasn't on any other um, thing. You know what okay. I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, my temperature butterfly, I stitched on it because of the word float, the T mm -hmm. for temperature butterfly. And it's my whip go. Oh, and also Candyland. I'm in this group where you have every like two days a week your your card pull your your a card is pulled for what you're going to do. And for Wednesday, something like that, one of those two days, my card was pulled for a thousand stitches. Ew. And you know me, a thousand stitches. Say what? <laughs> so mm. I was up to the challenge. The first day I did 650. The next day I the 650. And I was stitching 650. My goal was 720 because of the stitch and run. Yamir ran Yamir oh. um, almond MMs. She ran. She ran for 24 hours, uh, every hour, a 5K every hour for 24 hours. That's the one she did in Germany. Yes. So while she was running, <laughs> I was supporting her stitching. <laughs> so <Yeah. if> you're... <laughs> um, and the Stitch and Run is hosted by Bobby and Athena. Bobby of Pumpkin... Pumpkin Creek Primitives and Athena Stitching Goddess Designs. So um, they have a stitch and run group where they're basically supporting whenever she does like a long race or a marathon, we support her. And she came on, she came on the video to like this chat. And then, you know, we were with her of the last couple of hours, you know, keeping her company because it was dark. So nice, so was, nice. Yeah. So I did 650 on that day, on that mm -hmm. Sunday. I did 150, 150, and then I did another 200 to make my 800. Sorry, to make wow. 1,000 stitches. Oh, good for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Listen, wow. it was a day. <laughs> so I finished june and july hold on yeah because we can't see it at all you got to put something behind it yeah this is the whole thing this shows okay you. and this is june and july oh my goodness gracious wow look at you so this is june mm -hmm. And this is July. So wow. very red. <laughs> very, very wow. red. Wow. Very red. Yes. With just a hint of something a couple of days. Correct. 
so out of the 30, 31 days in July, um, not, well, 19 of them was 91 degrees. So, yeah. Wow. So I'm off to August. Well, I can put this away right now. I'll be okay. Why? Put this away. Huh? Because I finished July. See? It's all done. Oh. <laughs> Again. And then um August, I haven't looked at August's number, but I there's still it's gonna be a little bit red still. Oh yes. I mean like yeah, like all yeah. red. I'm sure. So I'm happy. Very pretty. Wow. So that's me meeting my goal. Oh, and by the way, Candy won that round. She won oh, she that. Mm -hmm. She won that round. Mm -hmm. So um, we, it was, it's going to get pulled again tomorrow. My mm -hmm. stitching numbers. Now, how do you win a round? You have to go, it's basically Candyland. And you have to go, I don't know how to play Candyland. I don't either. So you just have to go to the finish line. So everybody okay. starts with the same. If you stitch the number of what you're supposed to stitch, you move up. So okay. of course, the higher the number, the further you go. Mm -hmm. So, um, and the person who gets to the finish line first wins that round. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was one of the games. We played a lot of games at the house. We just never played Candyland. Yeah. <laughs> We were the Monopoly crew. Monopoly, Taboo. Oh, okay. Our games, yeah. But okay, that's it for me. All righty. Wait a minute, I've got to uh, tighten the little screw here before it falls off. Okay, there we go. I picked up Hands-On Design, Well-Rounded, and I'm working on this one nice. right here. Last week when you saw it, and this is on, man, what is this on? Gee, Liz. Oh, yeah. That was another thing from last week. You didn't know, right? Yeah. It's on, uh, I need to put this. Put it back here. It's on 32 count. Uh, Spanish moss, which is fabric by Stephanie. Oh, I'm using the call for DMC, and I was very happy. I matched up. Woohoo! Oh, nice. Bring it. Oh, nice. Perfect. Pull it back a little bit. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I finished the red outline for the motif and started into the middle. Yes. And there is an error, which I had to fudge at the bottom. I could not figure out what, I don't know what I did, but it was easily fudgeable. Uh -huh. And so, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. I poked a sleeping cat with my pointer. Okay, here we go. I also picked up Autumn Quaker Rosewood Manor. Oh, nice. Uh, this is on 36 count colonial parchment, also fabric by Stephanie. I'm using a Victorian model sampler conversion. We saw a finished one in Barefoot Needle Arts. Yes, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And I am working on this. I'm working on like right in here. Yeah. Is that correct? Is the yes. cat on my oh. chair? <laughs> you saw the cat? Yes. Oh my yes. goodness. <laughs> Did you see his head pop up? 
Yes. Yes. Oh my it's, goodness. <laughs> I poked him so he decided this wasn't the safest spot to be. <laughs> no, no, Joe. Thank you. So yeah, no, not my coffee either. Hold on. I have to go into defensive mode. Mm -hmm. There we go. So no. um <laughs> <laughs> It's coming along yeah. nicely. It's coming along nicely. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Um, the, um, that motif is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it is, is that a, hold on, I'm double checking to see if that is a WIPCO call. I don't think it's a WIPCO call this month. In July or in June? Uh, July. I don't think it's a, no, it's not a WIPCO call. Yeah. Okay. All righty. I, so, um, French market. Oh, this is what I'll pick up. Okay. French market is a series that was done by hands-on design, ink circles and summer house stitch works. I'm working on this one, which is, um, no, wait, no, this is just, no, this is Summer House Stitch Works contribution mm -hmm. to the series. It's um, Poire et Romarin, uh, Pear and Rosemary. This is being stitched on 32 count colonial, go away. <laughs> Away. 32 count colonial parchment by <laughs> go away <laughs> fabric by Stephanie and I'm using the call for over dies and this was originally released as an exclusive by inspired needle the inspired needle and so I bought it back then I've been stitching the entire series oh wow, that looks good Yes, and I am, I finished this area here. Uh -huh. I might have to take it off the frame. I think I'm gonna have to put it, my assistant. <laughs> it's a toy. Oh no. I'm gonna have to put it on the cute snap. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on a kiss snap <laughs> <laughs> to finish the bottom because somehow I'm sweating the bottom of this for some reason. Oh yeah. So, yeah. I, maybe put it on a, a hoop or a nerd. Yeah. Um, um, it's Cause I'm going to go right close down to the bottom on here. So, so that is, um, pear and rosemary. Uh, summer house stitch works that's almost done yes i only have that little, this little bit down here yeah. to do yeah so and this is a whipco call so i'll definitely finish this piece this yeah. month i'm thinking about breakfast what did you have for breakfast your smoothie <laughs> no i had uh, treat myself to a couple of cupcakes uh, for the fourth and I had two left so that's what I was breakfast with most of my coffee hold on okay uh, seaside sampler which is my there we go seaside sampler Rosewood Manor which is my other would go call mm -hmm. for the month this is on 36 count opalescent, uh, a whitish uh, color by Zweigart. Yeah. And I'm using the call for Treenway Silk Threads. Which is not your favorite, right? It tangles? Yes. Ooh. That's where I am. I'm, I've, I almost completed the dark blue on the bottom 
mm -hmm. um, stingray. And uh, I had maybe one and a half stingrays done, but now I've, I've got down the fourth. So I did at least, I would say probably the equivalent of two stingrays, the yeah. out the dark part. And then I have to come and fill them in and then I can move on. Those stingrays, woo. But it's fun. I, I'm Now that I'm closing in on the finishing the stingrays, I'm happy again. <laughs> <laughs> then that is um, stitch intensive. Yes. So contrary, I realized so far, I don't think any of that was um, Jolly July. And I do Jolly July. Well, we so, just started July. Yeah, I know, but I guess I'll I was finishing it. Yeah. yeah. We filmed on the 29th and <laughs> oh okay. So I had the 29th and the 30th. Yeah. Oh, and I put my whipco calls in the, the first couple of days so I could make sure I got them in. Um so I picked up God rest ye merry gentlemen. We know this well. This is by um uh Lindy Stitches. Mm -hmm. This was in Punch Needle and Primitive. Um, Stitch Magazine, the 2018 winter, uh, Christmas winter issue. Um, yeah. God rest you, Mary. This was a restart, um, yes. which is why everybody has seen it for so long. However, Ooh. look at me. Look at I, you. Yes. I finished the, let's see if we can get through this. The greenery on the top. Yeah, I finished the greenery on the top. Nice. So all I have to do is fill it in. There are a little bit of backstitch above the bed's Z's, like sleeping Z's. Yeah, okay. And then it'll be done. So I'm hoping to... It looks really good. Yeah, if I get a real good stitchy day, I might be able to finish this. So I'm really, I'm really, I finished all of the, uh, the God rest ye. Yeah. I'm not sure how much of that I had in the last time you saw it. And then the, the bow, it was, I got, a, I worked on it for two days. So over the two days, I got a lot done. That looks really pretty. Like it looking is at pretty. this way, looking at on my screen, this way is completely different on like next to it. It's mm -hmm. really pretty. Yeah, thank you. And I'm using a lot of conversion colors. I'm not sure if I'm using many of the call for colors at all. Mm -hmm. um, most of it is, is DMC and the call for, I had a couple of the call for over dyes uh, and then I uh, substituted uh, a color for Victorian model sampler. Okay. And one more. I picked up Dancer. Oh, nice. Yes, this one is a fun one. I've seen this a couple of times now. This is Dancer. This was also Punch Needle and Primitive Stitch Magazine. This was a Christmas Winter 2021 issue. Mm -hmm. And it is by uh, Barbara Anna Designs. I love her Dreaming Of series. Yes, yes. And I'm stitching this on 32 count heaven and earth mountain, uh, a mountain it's mountain air dire and the color is heaven and earth. Yes. And uh, yeah, this is where I am. Wow. Did you work on the ear? That's a horn, is an antler. Uh-huh. So I'm working on the village in one of the antlers. Okay. I thought you were working on that ear. That's a cute ear. Um, no, I really want to start to see the the That's houses cute. come in mm -hmm. on the antlers. Yeah. yeah. What color is that? What's the fabric? Because it sure looks like the the piece of fabric you gave me. Uh I 
think it's darker. Okay. We'll nice look at it the next time you're here. And if you bring that other piece, we can put them side by side. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty positive this is heaven and uh, mountain airs, heaven and earth That's in 32 count. Yeah. Looking good. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very, very pleased uh, with how it's 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 really coming along. And I did yesterday, and I'll work on it today. Oh yeah. Uh, give it some really nice progress uh, today, and then um, I'll move on to something else. If uh, yeah, where we talk about plans. So do you have any investments? Uh, no. If I do, it's at the house. Okay. I actually do have some more investment, like I need more investment, but need is, is so, I'm, I was in a conversation with someone earlier this week who was saying that she didn't need anything. I said, see, there's your first mistake right there. <laughs> <laughs> The word need, you know, <laughs> that, that's <laughs> not, yeah, no, it's, it's want. I see, I like, I want. So oh, good. We found a rubber band and now we're gone. Go, go after your rubber band. He was, ev he was evicted. Somewhat forcefully. Was evicted? Yeah, basically pushed him off the table. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, the Cross Stitch Cupboard, Karen Owen, is our local needlework shop, Cross Stitch store. She has a bunch of cottage garden threads on the table, mm -hmm. the stitchy table. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't help myself. I picked up some more. I don't think I have these. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you do, <laughs> but okay. Well, I picked up a lot more darker colors here. And not blue, which one is that? That's ashes, this, ashes. This is, this is ashes to ashes. Uh -huh. This is black I-core, E-core. Uh -huh. um, Running postman. That's why I don't think I have it. I, the yeah, they don't sound. sound they don't sound correct. Yeah, red carnation. Are they for a a project? <laughs> You're like it doesn't matter. I bought it. Lettuce leaf. Oh, yeah. And I did pick up two like blue iceberg lettuce. It looks like iceberg. Yes. Lettuce. Yes. Mm -hmm. I picked up two blues. They're very light colors. I was looking at one of the projects that I kitted and the blue, I'm not sure. I could have done a better job on the blue that I picked for it. And then she had these two light blues. So I picked them both up and I'm pretty sure one of these will, will finally go into that particular piece. Mm -hmm. This is silver fur, F-I-R. And this is Garçon. So, yeah. I also, Ooh. remember the last time I was there, I told you I meant to buy a piece of dark blue fabric, but somehow I never got home with it. Oh, so true. I picked another one for my accounting puddles. Yeah. Well, Karen had realized that I had left the fabric. So she set it aside for me. So I got this. So this will be my next counting puddles ornament will go on this because this okay. was the blue I originally intended to put the first one on. Got it. And this is Mystic, 28 count Mystic. Oh, I like Mystic. Picture this plus. Yeah, picture this plus. Yes. And, and there's, wait, there's more. And she has to have a beige, y'all. Every for every color, three, four, five pages. What <laughs> but I've never seen this one before. I was, really? walking, I was walking by the cutting table and I did a reverse. You did uh! Yep. Yeah. And this is iced cappuccino, R and R reproductions. 
and I'd never seen this color before. Karen told, this is 36 count. Karen said it was a color that they had dyed uh, several years ago, but had not dyed recently. And so she saw it and, and purchased some, and this was the last piece she had. Okay. And I, I mean, I, as soon as I walked by it, I said, I don't have that. So you can tell the different beiges apart, clearly, right? I, evidently, if it's R and R, I can. Because I for sure cannot. <laughs> I knew immediately. That's it. I don't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so those were my uh, purchases uh, this week at the. Oh, one more thing. So she had these little stands, you know, where you can set your stitching on so I bought this little stand I might um Excellent. spray paint it a darker color mm -hmm. but it's it's really nice to be able to stand a, a piece up against it and yeah. you know mm -hmm. I always need display things okay so announcements so um any announcements I keep, I don't know. Okay. Well, let's not forget the um, Bake Me a Quaker Sal. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's mid-year point. So oh, there's, right. you, can, you can still join and catch up. And you have until the end of December. Not that you have until, but, you know, exactly. the Sal Nothing officially. Nothing happens if you go past December. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, there's nobody that's going to come and go. Nye, 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 nye. Yeah, trust and believe yeah. that. No, not Yeah. Me. But the Sal, of the official term of the Sal ends December uh, 2024, because yeah, um, that's the 13th month. Yes. That's why it's called Bake Me a Quaker. And okay. it's Rosewood Manor's One Dozen Quakers. Yes. So, and a lot of people are stitching on it. Um, it's just beautiful. We met Lisa mm -hmm. at Sassy Jacks. She, mm -hmm. um, she took a, well, her pictures on the video. She's the one that was holding it up. Yes, yes, oh. yes. It was so fun and it looked good. I love yes. the colors that she was using. I love the colors. I love the different colors people are using. I love, yes. I love it. Yeah. Yes, yes. So um to uh yesterday you're like what's the next project I'm like Ooh, next project <laughs> <laughs> so I have, to, um, I have to think about that <laughs> <laughs> but people are enjoying it mm -hmm. very much so yeah. all right so let's talk about plans because we didn't do our July plans nor our June statistics so we talked a little bit about July last week but we really didn't go into Correct. A Correct. lot of detail, mainly because we weren't ready. Correct. So, so you want to talk about your June stats? Yes, my June stats. I completed my WIBGO calls. That 28 stitches in of um, my to-do list, that mm -hmm. clinched it. So my temperature butterfly, out of the four days, I stitched on it five. Well, five days. I stitched on it five days. So five over four. Um, 120%. <laughs> nice <laughs> anywho my and then my other whip go was newest whip which was at that point my to-do list that's why i didn't do it on baby but got backstitch because i started baby got backstitch after that whip go was called so i did my four days on that i worked on a total of six projects let me tell you the projects and then how many stitches i've done one mm -hmm. doesn't quicker 707 707 stitches uh, in June. My to-do list, 466 stitches in June. Temperature butterfly, 1,376 stitches. Mm. Jack will lantern, 141 stitches. This Juneteenth day, which was a new start, 192 stitches. And baby got back stitch, which was also a new start with 152 stitches. So for a total, I stitched on, I stitched 3,034 stitches. I started two projects. 
finish zero project and stitch 19 days. Very good. Not bad. Yes. Um, for my magazine, my challenges um, for the Whip of Glory, Sammy J from Sammy J Stitches. She has Whip of Glories where she gives you five categories and you can fit your projects within the five, five categories and you work towards your goal, whatever your goal may be. You, you create your own goal. Um, I did this Juneteenth day, which is a holiday. The category was holiday. Um, I didn't do the full coverage. I didn't do the sampler. I didn't have time. Well, mm -hmm. one dozen Quaker is a sampler. Isn't it? Is a sampler of Quakers? I don't know. I didn't do that part anyway. Um, my new to you, I did that for my one dozen Quaker. And specialty floss, I did jack-o'-lantern. I worked on that. So out of the five categories, I completed three. Okay. For my magazine monthly challenge, the words were, the acrostic was float. And I did the L in Lizzie Cake, my to-do list, the O, one dozen Quaker, and the T for temperature butterfly. I did three out of the five again. Not bad. Not bad at all. So that's it for me in July. Do you want to recap your, sorry, that's it for me in June. Do you want to recap your June or should I? No, I'll recap my June and then we'll come back. Okay. All right. So here's my June planner. Nice. I added some stickers, which you'll I be happy that. about. Yes. Did I have it in the whole thing? Yeah. I'll show you my June planner. Hold on. Let's put our June planners up. Oh, looky, looky, wow. I put some stickers. Yes, you did. <laughs> Go ahead. I have one whole day dedicated to the frog because that was my net zero oh, day. Oh, yes. You, you need a sticker with frogs. Yes, <laughs> that was frog. Really? Um, <laughs> My Whipco, I had two Whipco for the month, well-rounded and letters from mom. And my goal Whipco is three days on each project. I completed my goal. I had six starts, uh, which were taking up space, which was my Juneteenth start by Shaded Stitchery, a walk in the garden, Stacy Nash, Napping in the Poinsettias, Lindy Stitches, Currents and Tides, Barefoot Needle Art, A Stitching Garden, Tiny Martinus. And I, I started Letters from Mom April, mm. which is it's all on one great big piece, but they're distinct charts. So I started April by Jeanette Douglas Designs. Mm -hmm. I had one finish, which was Letters from Mom March. Um, and I stitched on 17 different whips in oh, the month. Nice. Yes, yes. So now let's hear about your July plans. Okay. For July, my whip go, <laughs> <laughs> the number six and 23 was called. Number 23 was, well, hello there. Oh, design. So I'll complete, uh, hopefully, complete the stitching of a couple of months. Yeah. And what's left are my longer months, you know? Okay. My, all, my September's, October's, November's, December. Those are the longer months. So that's what's left. Um, my web go, number six was Kate's Choice. Okay. I messaged Kate. Hey, Kate. Stitchy Aardvark from um, Fickle Stitches on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kate, your, your number's called number six. What would you like for me to stitch? She replied, insert evil laugh here. Oh, 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 oh. And then she wrote Alhambra Gardens. <laughs> I, I was speechless like 
I know I started it and I know it's on my quick list, but I'll have regards. <laughs> High five, Kate. High five. I was like, well, I never. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> After I messaged her a couple of choice words, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah, I said, all right, uh, Humber Gardens it is. So, I have to do four days. I, you know, I love that piece. Yes, yes. But it, it is a shadowing. Yes. But, and I also worked it in some of my other plans. So mm -hmm. for the Sammy J Whippagories, mm -hmm. um, the first one is fandom, like any fandom piece that can be mm -hmm. related to fandom. So I mm -hmm. put um, Wicked or The Wizard of Oz, right? Mm -hmm. Witches. So I put mm -hmm. Jack Lantern. Mm -hmm. That's my fandom piece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, older than 2022. Like mm -hmm. um, your, um, not the chart that's older than 2022 not no, the piece the, the whip mm -hmm. not the whip that's older than 22 the chart oh yeah okay so that was my one dozen quaker okay okay um a pdf I okay temperature butterfly there you go um haven't stitched in 2024 oh mm. man I, forget, I keep forgetting my drink i owe myself like three drinks Oh, no, you owe yourself like 10. Oh, I'm going to be lit tonight. I'm, I'm <laughs> down to the foam. I'm running out of coffee. <laughs> so the fourth category was having stitched in 2024, and that will be Alhambra Gardens. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Kate, for that. <laughs> <laughs> and number five, longest since worked on. And I don't know. I have a new day, my cave that I've been putting on for the last couple of months that I haven't stitched on. Which one? Uh, a new day, my hate. Yeah, yeah. I like it. It's been a minute. I just haven't stitched on it. Okay. Also, for Magazine Monthly Challenge, the theme is in the water. Um, Alhambra Gardens have a water feature. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. And the acrostic is jet ski. The J is for June and July. Well, hello there. Mm -hmm. I just stretch because I already I know I already completed June and July, but mm -hmm. the okay. months are there. It's on. It's it's there. Yeah. E and thank you, Candy, the six one four stitcher for um suggesting this one is Eek, and that's Jack O' Lantern. Oh. Like eek. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. T temperature butterfly. S is for summer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> S eleven. S is for summer. Hello, summer. I I did bring it with me to stitch. Okay. The K Karen Kubla. One dozen. Oh. Mm -hmm. And the I Ink Circles Limited Edition. That's cool. oh nice. Yes. Um, and we'll talk about. Do you want to talk about stitch the Summer Olympics when you get to it, and so we can rattle on what we've been what we're going to stitch on yeah so you want me to do my other july plans now yeah. yes okay so july for me is jolly july this is the month in which i complete my ornaments for the holidays for family and for exchanges my whip go calls for the month number six is french kitchen which you just saw so I know I will finish Pear and Romaine. I believe I have one more uh, to do and I'll start that one when I finish this one. So this one I'll probably, so I finished one day, I've got two more days. I'm hoping to finish Pear and Romaine and start the last of the four parts. I also have the box part to do, but. I'll finish the four parts. And number 23 is Seaside Sampler, Rosewood Manor. You just saw that. I hope my goal is to finish the manta rays. Uh, so just one day down, two days to go on that. Um, I So I've started 
my so in between i'm doing all holiday stitching i um got rest merry gentlemen just got two days and i think i could probably finish it in a third really good day but i gave it two days in a row and it's uh, i need a break if, for those of you who don't know i do a daily rotation because I need the variety in my stitching. I uh, picked up Dancer. Today will be the second day straight on that. Uh, I will start my starts. I need two more ornaments. Yeah. I'm going to start Drawn Thread Joy. There's a series of, I believe, six charts with joy in them, the word joy, but there are all kinds of designs around them. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing joy number four as a start this week. Oh, and I'm also, hmm? I remember that one, I believe. Yeah. Yes. I think I have finished two of them. Uh, and I'm going to start one of the Mill Hill uh, beaded ornaments. And those are on perforated paper. And then I'm going to give that a couple. I've been. If May was any indication, I can complete Joy in two days. I can complete, can complete the Mill Hill in two days. And then I'm going to pick up another Counting Puddles mm -hmm. ornament. And I should be able to finish that in two days. And I still have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven unidentified days to do holiday stitching on. Mm -hmm. um, and so for those days, I plan to focus, come back to God Rest Ye Gentlemen and Dancer. Dancer, I, both of those I would like to finish. Yeah. So, um, so I'll try to do these small ones and then come back to those larger ones yeah. to get those done. And then um, this month, my travel includes family reunion uh be gone the weekend of the uh 26th 27th and i've already identified what i'm taking with me and those that actually overlaps with the start of the summer olympics so when we talk about the summer olympics plans i can talk about those okay. so ej you want to start talking about what stitching you're doing for the summer olympics so this is from the um nap the nap time stitcher on Instagram and um in her bio or link you could click on the link <laughs> Yeah the link is in the description So stitch the uh, so oh you're going to put it in the description box Yeah okay perfect I think I put it in last time Oh okay so stitch the Summer Olympics, hashtag, and whatever we, oh, isn't that cute? Or the rings or hoops? Yes. <laughs> and it's hashtag stitch the Summer Olympics, where we have, I showed you all the pages. So we kind of, I penciled what my plans are going to be. So the 26th is opening ceremony. New start or stitch something that you started in 2024. Mine will be this Juneteenth day. Shelia. Oh, my my opening ceremony. I didn't realize you were going to do it that way. That's fine. My opening ceremony is going to be dancer. Oh, nice. Um, Parade of Nations. Stitch something pa patriotic for any country of your choice. Mine will be this Juneteenth day. Mini coffee break in Africa. Oh, nice. Um, summer Olympics, stitch something related to summer. Mine will be Hello Summer. Queen Bee. Oh, nice. <laughs> My mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got uh, those bees and it's yeah. really summery, the colors. It's July 9th, the July 29th, um, Olympic rings. Stitch with a floss or fabric in any color from the Olympics rings, blue, yellow, black, green, or red. Mine is gonna be Alhambra Gardens because of the black. African lady with flowers, I'm stitching on black and it has, um, I think it has green. Yes, it does. Yeah. 
Swimming, stitch something with water, Alhambra Gardens. Spring Fling, my piece from Spring Fling 2024. This is Jeanette Douglas. It was uh -huh. a design for the retreat. Cycling, stitch something that contains something round, which I don't know yet. I mean, I don't know yet. It could be. I'm doing well, well rounded. Mm, nice. Uh, August 1st, Marathon, stitch one of your oldest whips. I have to find out what my oldest whip is. Okay, oh. I'm going to pick up the 2005 sampler. It's a Stony Creek. My oldest whip is October <laughs> collection. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that? I'm yeah. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> 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 and you Either know that or I'll, I'll autumn quakers use, huh either that or autumn quakers oh i'll do october okay because what i'll do uh on the 31st is stitch something that contains something round october mm -hmm. does it has a pumpkin so i'll mm. stitch those two days okay that's good okay um august 2nd beach volleyball stitch something with more than one person mine is jack-o-lantern her and her oh. three other sisters before. Yeah. Yeah. So I struggled with this one because, you know, I don't do people. Yeah. And um, so, but, but Colette suggested that I stitch on something that I know other people are stitching. Um, so she said like in friendship, which was um, modern folk embroidery yeah. and friendship. I had actually changed it to say stitch something with more than one kitty. Uh huh. And I was going to do three little kittens. So it's going to be either in friendship or three little kittens. Got it. Okay. That works. Row, mm -hmm. stitch something with a row of something or with a border. One dozen Quaker. Sampler Festive has a lot of little borders and rows okay. in it. Uh, say something with a house or a building. I don't know yet about that one. September's Revenge. Okay. Which was Evertoad's Black September uh, selection last month, and it's by um, Ellen Reed. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, stitch something choreographed by your favorite designer. I believe choreographed meaning um, design. Mm hmm. I don't have a favorite designer. I really don't. I mean, but I like one. I, I like Rosewood Manor, so I'll probably do one of hers. Okay. Shaded Stitchery, My Necessity. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I kind of like that one. So, <laughs> yeah, I picked that. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great one. That's a great one. That's a great one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Equestrian. Say something with an animal. Um, um, baby got backstitch, I believe has a cat. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. I'm doing a uh, meow block hands on design. Hold on. Nice. August 7th, meow block. Okay. Um, Stitch something, oh, synchronized swimming. Stitch something that is part of a salve or something that was recommended to you by another stitcher. One dozen Quakers is a salve. I'm doing uh, modern folk embroidery. The 2023 salve had uh, options for centerpieces. And I've selected to just do two of the tree options. So I'm gonna work on one of the trees. I've already started it, it's a whip. And it was recommended to me by Tricia. I just want to stitch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, number eight, sorry, August 8th. Stitch something that you can't wait to work on. And it's weight lifting. You forgot them. Yeah, weight, weight lifting. lifting. Yes. And that's baby got backstitch for me. I'm doing Goldie. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Soccer, number August 9th is soccer. 
stitch something towards your goal in one in any piece on any piece my goal stitching is well hello there i want to be able to finish it because that's part of my year of whips my stitcher's heart because oh, i'd nice. like to finish it yeah the box top august 10th is the modern pen pen pentathlon 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 oh, that reminds me yeah so figure out what is a pentathlon a modern one in fact yeah oh, good old google what is a <laughs> what is a modern pentathlon okay modern pentathlon is an olympic sport consisting of fencing freestyles swimming equestrian show jumping pistol shooting and cross country running uh, are they supposed to do all of those things the one person mm -hmm. supposed to do all of those things yes Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so I have to know how to fence, swim, ride a horse, shoot a pistol, and cross country? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh, they were chosen to reflect that cavalry, uh, reflect skills that cavalry soldiers in the 19th century ought to possess and refine. Oh, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> wow. Okay. But where's the break dancing? I hear break dance is going to be a, a sport, an Olympic event. Yes. For this year, it's brand new. I, I can't wait to see that. Um, so the modern pentathlon, part of the series is well, hello there. I, I'm going to either do well-rounded or French market. Okay, nice. Closing ceremony. Stitch something that you plan on, that you plan to finish in 2024. And that for me is one dozen Quaker. Oh, nice. I'm going to um, work on Pisces, Nora Corbett. I have to take the face out, redo the face. Oh, you plan on finishing her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then I'm gonna put a, a slash temperature butterfly. Okay. And I do plan on finishing. So I'll figure out what I want to do there. Um yeah. So that that not only finishes out the the month of July, but takes us pretty much halfway through the month of August. Correct. August 11th is the last. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I pulled all the projects out. They're all sitting yeah. in my bin. Look yep. at you being, oh my goodness, because me um, and I, I didn't do that yet. I'm all organized. That's so nice. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, so those are our plans, but we want to circle back a little bit. Wait, let me so, for my plans. Okay. Um, Bobby of Pumpkin, Pre Pumpkin Creek Primitive. She's having a sale that ends the 7th of July. So I'm planning on getting several charts from her. From her That's online. today. Today's the 7th? No, tomorrow's, I don't know. What's what is today? This? Today's the sixth. Tomorrow's the seventh. Okay. So I'm planning on on um partaking in such sales. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um I'm going to to I already looked at what I wanted and put some stuff in the a basket. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I can't wait. So that's part of my plans. And hopefully I get to start some of those things along with what I started. It's a lot of starts. <laughs> um, that I do want to start um, in that I do want to start in um, July July yes yes so it's a little bit of everything okay um, yeah. so 
I want to circle back a little bit to our road trip because we met so many wonderful people and we just couldn't remember everybody last week. So we tried to make a list and still it's not everybody. It's not complete it's, it's at all. Not complete at all. No. Um, but we met Beth and and um, met her at... Um, oh, I've, Barefoot you know, like, Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we met uh, mother, daughter, Julie, and Lexi, otherwise, well, Alexa, otherwise known as Lexi. Correct. We, um, she stitched, like, mother, da daughter duo stitches. No, right? daughter doesn't. Oh, she does um, crochet or something, right? Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, she's more into crochet. She knows how to cross stitch, but she's more into yes. crochet. Yeah. Yes, yes. But we then met Julie's mom at Sassy Jack's. Jack's. Yeah. It was so much fun. It was and such a pleasure. You met my daughter. And my grandma, like, yeah, I remember. <laughs> she, she did. <laughs> um, um, and we met uh, also at Sassy Jack's, Stitchy Pros, Holly, her husband, mm -hmm. and her daughter. Now, her husband is the designer inventor of the ultimate cross-stitch tool. Yes. And if if you get a chance, you've got to look it up because it's got the three inch corner on it. It's yeah. got the thread winder. It's yeah. got a ruler. The needle gauge. It has a fabric gauge as well. It has, yeah. yeah. It's an amazing tool. So definitely check that out. Um, we saw our friend Jennifer at the Inspired Needle. Mm -hmm. um, we also saw Lisa, who stitched with us for a bit at Sassy Jacks. Yes. Rhonda, who came, mm -hmm. who came down, and her husband, and Stitching yes. Scott. Yes, yes, yes. And I know, and again, the mother-daughter who brought me the wonderful uh, stitched pieces that they rescued. Yes. Um, and again, if you would please email us at sunshinestitchers3 at gmail.com, I would, I really would love to hear from you. I, yes. I also really met, uh, this, this lady, she lives in Fort Lauderdale, but we met at oh, Sexy Jacks. Yes, that's right. I was that's like, right. wait, what? She's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. She lives uh Hallandale Beach. Yeah. Like yes. so and it's literally like if you from where we live, you just drive east. Yes. Forever yeah. to the water. That's where that's she lives. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, um so I want to talk about our, our schedule for the rest of July and into August because it's kind of it's it reflects summer vacation more than yes. anything else. <laughs> so, so um, July, mm -hmm. we're going to be filming next week with Deb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the twentieth, uh, we will. I will not be able to video, so we won't have a video on the twentieth. Right, I'll and I'm going to take a break. Jersey. I'll mm -hmm. be in New Jersey. Can't wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we will have a video on the 27th mm -hmm. okay um now <laughs> on the um august 3rd we're i'm not gonna be in town so we're probably gonna do a zoom situation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um we'll have a video on august 10th and mm -hmm. We won't have a video for two weeks, the 17th and the 24th. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, vacation. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we'll come back full force with all our stitching mm -hmm. on the 31st. And those are basically our July and August plans. Yeah, 31st of August. That'll be because yeah, that'll be a lot of stitching. <laughs> the catch up on stuff. And yeah. We'll remind you as we work through that schedule, but we wanted to kind of try to give you some advance uh yeah. notice. So so I yeah. think we've done it all. I was I I evicted my assistant and he got huffy and left the building. <laughs> he no, you gave him that rubber band and he was like, oh, 
something new to play with. Yeah, now I'll go find it somewhere. <laughs> all righty, so I think we've said it all. Don't forget, no matter, no matter where you are, the, the sun, sun is, is always shining. shining when you're sticking. When you're sticking. <laughs> Bye.